David, we've noted the video camera. Roger asked if there were three things that you would recommend. Are there two more beyond the, you, the video but camera? You, but you, Tom, again, you neglected to notate that we need to change the attitudes. We need to have Shirley. We need to have Greg. We need to have these master operators go down to the lunchroom. Let's talk about it. Let's show videos. Darla Sturdy's been here for seven years trying to tell you we need to educate. Educate your drivers. And believe me, folks, this isn't TriMet. This is a national epidemic. This isn't just TriMet, Portland. This isn't Seattle. This isn't just Cleveland. This is across the nation. These operators need your support. They don't need your criticism. They need your support. They need your help. They need to be taught. And they need to be treated like human beings versus employees. Because by God, they're transporting in individuals and human beings, not just passengers. That's right. They're running over my daughter. She's not just a pedestrian. That's my daughter. There's three things right there. You educate the drivers. You educate the public. Let's get rid of the attitude. There's three there. Let's throw four on there and put some cameras in the buses. And I don't care if it's, it's nothing different than sending your retail business. You go to Home Depot, you go to Lowe's, you go to your major, your major retailers. They all send uh, secret shoppers around. Where's the secret passengers? You know, you're going to send a supervisor around? Where's your secret supervisor? How often does that happen? Let's take a look at your recertification programs. You've got a hundred things to change, Tom. A hundred things. And that's not from me. That's from a professional transportation safety personnel. That's not me. What, do you, what are three things that I, what do you give a crap about that? You don't. Well, because we Because do. the facts are the facts. You're not going to do crap about it. These things have to change. And I'm going to be here complaining, whining, crying until it's done. No, you're going to I, and I don't care. I really don't care. You're going to help us do it. I'm going to help you do this. And, we and I'm going to see that my yes, help done. is here. Yes. You know, these things have to be changed. We can't just talk about it. You got, a hundred, you got the 100 list. You know, 96, whatever it ended up being. You know, I'm not here to take up his time and make him frustrated. I'm here to help him. Put me on the damn bus. Make me the poster child for safety. They see my ugly face on a the bus, they're going to think twice. Maybe. They see some guy that's pissed off because his kid died, they're going to think twice, right, Shirley? I'm not here to hurt you. I'm here to help you, honey. And that's the way it works. Thank you. And maybe also, you know, maybe meeting people like us that have lost, maybe we can help. And if they meet people that are real, that have lost our kids through the light rail or through the buses, maybe that will help educate them. Um, I put up a white bike out in Gresham for my son, and it was there. TriMet actually took it down, and I found out through Steve Banta the reason they took it down was because the drivers were complaining because they saw it, because it was a reminder. But that's what they need. They need to be reminded. They need to meet people like us. If it was their child, what they have to do is think about it as if they were related to you. The thing with our society, what's changed is it's all about money. And what we need to do is start working together and it be about the people that we care about. Because our life ended in a second. Well, and the other thing I disagree on with Tom is to put a value on safety. Now, value to me, just as a stupid person, and John Q. Public, my last name Sale, for crying out loud. My daddy wanted to name me Cash, so I know about money. <laughs> when you put a value on something, that means you're putting a price on it. You can't put a value on my daughter's life. You can't put a value on safety. You can't put a value on anything you've talked about here. 
absolutely nothing. It's not a value. It's a mentality. It's a mentality that you don't want to hurt somebody. I'm not here to yell at you and complain to hurt you. It's a mentality. I don't want to see you, you, anyone in this room go through what I'm going through. My daughter's going through. My wife. My other two kids. Any of you. Not a one of you. Because you don't deserve it. And she doesn't deserve it as an operator to go through the horrific accident, if you will, of running five people over in a crosswalk and losing a girlfriend, an advocate for seniors and disabled people who, who designed her life around helping people like that. And now she's six feet under without the due respect that she deserves. And I'm here to take back. And I'll get it back because you're going to make the changes. And I'm going to see to it. Whether it's in this room or another room. Whether it's in Salem. I don't even live in Oregon. Or if it's in Seattle. It's going to happen. And the attitudes are going to change. Because if they don't, next time it's going to be your daughter. Your granddaughter. Your neighbor's daughter. Your neighbor's son. And it's David, not fair. David, the attitudes are going to change. It's I know they will. It's not going to be fluff and stuff. And, it's, and we can fluff and stuff this no, all day long. No, we are not fluffy stuff. Yeah, well, we're stuffing a lot of stuff. You didn't, okay. you didn't allow the videos here, which is pure and blatant disregard for public safety. No, I didn't Pure and blatant disregard for public safety. Okay. You, uh, uh, an operator telling a cop he has no right to give him a ticket because he ran a red light? And why wasn't the cop chasing drug dealers and not worrying about a TriMet bus? A TriMet bus running over three lanes of traffic in a, block, in a block time. One block period of time, he goes through three lanes of traffic, almost runs a cop off the road, and then gets pissed because he gets pulled over. If I did that in my car, I'd be in jail with that kind of attitude. You better do a better job, Tom. Good luck to you. I appreciate your constructive criticism, yeah. and I'll take it. Robert Bailey. Robert was here. Probably left. Uh, we'll see if he's out in the hall. Uh, and the fourth person who wanted to make comments, uh, Leon Chavaria. Well, things about power. Yeah, my name is Leon Chavaria. I'm on the board for the CAT committee. And because I'm disabled, I know that how much more people, how many more, how much more people need to know. And how I get mad, but I don't do anything. Well, let's not say that. But anyways, I get mad when people don't pay attention to other people. Like, hey, man, go sit there because, you know, they're listening to their CDs and they're, and they're wiping their purple hair and they're talking to their friends and then somebody comes struggling onto the bus because they can't walk carefully. And, well, that's just the back of the story. I'm not going to get on your case. Anyways, surely I did make, I did make a funny T-shirt several years ago and it said, bus drivers have more patience than some doctors. And of course, I spelled patience with a C. Let them figure out what's, what I mean. And one time I was walking down the street and some guy said, um, oh, I don't get it. And I said, well, they have patience, you have patience. Then he cracked up. Okay, I'll say, when I, when I was taking the 20 one day and, uh, and the bus had to turn, excuse me, 
when I was taking the 20 one day and the bus had to turn, when it came around the corner, the bus was going real slow because they were afraid of slicing it, slicing the other car. And then I thought, the, there has to be more space. And then I was walking down the street other, and another time, another street, and I noticed that they were green squares like they have for some um, bicycles. So here's what I thought of. If there's a green square right here where the bus, the car has to pull up to, so when the, so when the bus comes around this corner, they won't worry about hitting his, um, hitting the side of the table, hitting the side of the car with his mirror. And also I think that might be a safety issue for other pedestrians coming around because the bus is going to take that corner slowly and when they see the bus coming, they know it's going to carefully turn, they'll have a chance to back away. Okay. Good. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Sure. Appreciate it.